Welcome to the new Bastyr University Student Village. It was built in the year 2009-2010 to a lead rating of gold through an integrated teamwork of contractors, architects, consultants, and owners, we've managed to push this project into the platinum rating. LEAD Design stands for Leadership in Energy Efficient Design. The U.S. Green Building Council has established a rating system for prerequisite issues and optional points. They range from site development, water efficiency, energy efficiency, material selection, and indoor environmental quality. We have produced here a healthy, low-impact village for our students to move into and enjoy their stay at Bastyr University. The student village is constructed on a campus that is zoned public, semi-public, with open space directly adjacent to the site. Although surrounded by St. Edward's State Park, there are accessible community resources and public transportation available that enable you to live in this amazing setting, but with walkable, bikeable, and busable options to reduce transportation impacts on our climate and society. The most visibly dominant piece of this village is the grouping of four large 60-year-old Douglas fir trees situated in the center of the project. They enhance the sustainability of the site and anchor the village in the natural environment. Along with the shade of these trees are 175 new trees planted to shade the new hardscapes and structures. This additional shading helps minimize the heat island effect from paved surfaces and also diverts rainwater to minimize stormwater impacts. Notice that most of the paved surfaces are very light colored this is an intentional strategy to help minimize heat gain within the courtyards. No pesticides are used on the site to protect the environment, including people, from chemicals in the watershed. Runoff from hard surfaces, the roof and some courtyard surfaces, is collected in a large underground vault under the east parking lot and metered to the wetland to protect the tributary stream that leaves the property and goes to Lake Washington. This strategy slows the flow of stormwater, helps prevent sediment transport into the wetland, and is a much more sustainable strategy than a traditional industrial storm sewer conveyance and treatment system. One of the big changes that happened to the project was plant substitution. This was to introduce an edible landscape. You will find fruit-bearing trees and shrubs throughout the grounds, as well as carefully chosen medicinal plants. At the end of the substitution process, this change gave way to a whole new university course that will use this plan and grounds to teach holistic landscape design. Building on a passion for ecology and sustainability, it will teach techniques for food and medicinal plants elements of soil science, and how to use this in horticultural methods. Pest management in biointensive integrated methods is also taught. This means a healthier landscape for you and the site. 